getting those porches ready. Now, what are some tips and things that we need to know about those front porches, specifically small ones? You want to start at the top like anything, so start with the front porch. Don't okay. even worry about the back porch yet. We're going to get that in a few weeks. So this is, you know, this is our first glow up of the year because we have so much pollen still. <sighs> so Jonathan, you don't pollen. want to clean it off all the time. So yes. we're going to wait a couple weeks to do the back porch for that reason. Okay. And we're going to start with the hardware. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with the earrings on the front porch. Yeah, the earrings. I you love can, it. <laughs> you can give them a nice little glow up yeah. for around $40 on Amazon. You get a pack of two. Wow. These are nice. They're heavy. They're updated. It's going to change out the whole look yeah. of your front porch to something. And it's still medium wattage bulb, so it's not going to run your electric bill up higher. Okay. Anything, but it'll also give you more light when you're coming home at night. That's helpful. And if you have groceries, the baby, anything like that. All of yeah, the above. You need that. Yep. This is nice. Then we're going to go and we're going to actually change out. My favorite thing to change out every year are my front door mat and mm -hmm. rugs. But mm -hmm. I love layering this door mat and the newer, I love a crisp doormat anyway. Yep. But yep. I love having the bottom one. That way on rainy days, I have extra space so when I take shoes off. Yes. And this is a nice size. What does this say? 30 by 50. Yeah, that's a, this is a big, and I love this. We were talking about the pollen. Like this probably won't show too much. No. Like, oh my gosh, I love this mat. And then I always stick with this neutral because the colors, I love a color, but they get worn mm -hmm. over the season. Mm -hmm. And I like for it to last the whole time. I like changing it in the summer and I like changing it in the winter. That's a pro tip. Don't yeah. want to have to do the whole thing all the time, but the colors fade very, very fast they as do. soon as someone wipes their feet. They're mm -hmm. cute, but they don't last. Right, yet. right. So then you want to stick to your wreath. Okay. You do your wreath. When you do your wreath, mm -hmm. you want to always stay neutral at the same time. So do greenery. Okay. Make sure that you don't get the faded looking eucalyptus type leaves because then it's going to look like your wreath is old. Yeah. And That's some of those are really true. cute, but they just don't quite last the way you want them to last. Right, right. So if we're going to do it, let's do it right. Exactly. And yeah, this looks very lush and vibrant. No eucalyptus. Okay, got it. We're it learning. shows you've cleaned up too because you get so much mm. debris all collected in the corner cobwebs and things from the holidays. Yeah. Things we might have left behind. Oh, some Christmas lights up we've forgotten about. Right. You know. <laughs> I love this. And I'll put this here. And then if you want your front porch pillows to last all season, okay. I'm loving the on trend colors right now mm -hmm. because I can use this brighter green. Yep. Yet at the same time, as some of these pastel muted colors. Yeah. This is not going to look like it fades at all. Yeah. Even if it does just a little. This is like so on trend and it's so cute. It's bright. It's colorful. I was gonna say it's still a nice pop, and but not too exactly. Yeah, and I love my this. big pro tip, of okay, all for front porch pillows. Front porches usually they blow over the fastest. Make right. sure you have a dark, solid back. Oh, so that way, if we have one of those, you know, lovely tornadoes or something <laughs> that tries to touch down to the winds Strong and winds. they blow away off the porch, then when you go to find it, it's not dirty. Wow. A lot of times you see outdoor pillows and they have a white backing because they want them to feel lighter and brighter, but it's gonna get dirty a lot faster. Okay. That Same is another thing. pro See, tip. There's our tornado. Look, there we go. There's our tornado. <laughs> then your lanterns. Now, I've recommended these ladder lanterns for years because you can do Christmas balls in them. I was going to say, I remember this. Time to change out with your candles. And again, I don't like using the real candles in there. I like the battery operated ones. Sure. And you can get them that turn on dusk and night. Oh. So then you get to come home and you've got a little ambiance out there. You don't have to worry about going in and turning them on. Exactly. They just do it all. Okay. And change those out, clean the dust out of the bottom of this. Uh -huh. And you can even add greenery in. Let's say you don't have a large front door that you can put a wreath on. You can actually put some greenery in the bottom oh, of this. Oh, that would Jazz be Jazz that up a little bit too. Oh my gosh, you're giving us all of these. Small spaces. Yes, all of these wonderful ideas. And I'm looking at some of the, like I'm recognizing some of the names. Some of this stuff coming from Target, Amazon you said? Amazon for these. Mm -hmm. This is a Pottery Barn Lantern, which this is an investment piece. I yeah. call this an investment piece because you can use it in all seasons. Literally wipes down yeah. and it's clean and it's fresh. Yeah. Everything else is Amazon and Target. And wow. you can find it on my website. There you go. JonathanHMiller.com. I've got a blog about it ready for you and then you can just go on and order what you need. There you go, one stop shop. Jonathan, thank you so much. I'm ready to get my front porch ready to go. Now I'm sitting here, to just, I'm always shopping when you bring stuff. I'm like, okay, I need this, I need this. And now I know where to go, JonathanHMiller.com. We'll be right back with more Tell About Town today.